first at four. CPS Energy is suing ERCOT following last month's devastating winter storms that sent the price of power through the roof. Eyewitness News reporter Jordan Foster has the details. ERCOT's poor performance and preventable mistakes leave CPS Energy little choice. With that, Mayor Ron Nierenberg and CPS Energy CEO Paula Gold Williams announced the city-owned utility filed a lawsuit against the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, also known as ERCOT. ERCOT botched the storm response, and the regulators should be held accountable for their own mistakes. CPS Energy says, among other things, they're suing ERCOT for a breach of contract, negligence, and a violation of the Texas Constitution. It was a terrible experience for everyone in San Antonio. Those who had power had challenges and many people who did not have power for days suffered a terrible experience. And now they say ERCOT is trying to put the enormous bill back on the citizens. In the lawsuit, CPS Energy says ERCOT is charging energy companies across the state $20 billion for the five days Texas froze over. And they say more than $16 billion of it were overcharges. CPS Energy says San Antonio owes $1 billion for the five days of usage, which is higher than what they would have been charged for the year. This is outrageous and unconscionable, and we need to get together as a state to make this happen. Following the winter storm, six of ERCOT's board members have resigned from their positions, and their former CEO, Bill Magnus, was fired. They say this lawsuit is necessary to make sure the people who suffered almost a month ago aren't now stuck with the high prices from ERCOT's mishandling of the winter snowstorm. The injustice of imposing an erroneous, excessive, and unlawful costs on San Antonians who suffered during the storm cannot be allowed. Jordan Foster, Kins 5, Eyewitness News.